Park and her story. Liera, thanks so much for your time today. You attended Side Cy Creek where you played basketball on growing up because your father was a lawyer, I understand. You were sort of on that track for a while. You almost became a lawyer yourself. Yes, I did. I was so focused on success, 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 and following in my father's footsteps, I thought would get me there, you know. But there came a time when I was like, okay, this is not making me happy, and I had to get on my own path and follow my own path. And Liara, it did take some time. I mean, we should recognize here that you did get accepted and attended Harvard Law School. So that's not an easy feat in and of itself. You ended up leaving that. You ended up working um, for the Houston Rockets as a marketing coordinator, also the Comets. You admit on your own bio that it took you a long time to figure out what you really wanted to do. What was the pivotal point? The pivotal point was just realizing I'm about to do this for the rest of my life, you know? And I remember seeing the movie Love and Basketball, The Power of Storytelling, um, in which the main character really fights for what she wants to do. And I had really never done that. It's like before that point, I had never even questioned myself, like, hey, what do you love? What do you want to do with your life? Outside of pleasing other people and doing what was expected of me and just achieve, achieve, achieving, I never really asked myself, what do I love? You know, and how do I want to shape my life according to what I love? And feeling the misery, feeling the depression of getting to the point of succeeding so much and ending in a miserable place, that that was enough incentive for me to make some changes. Well, you certainly do not seem miserable or depressed no. now, Liara. You have circled back to find your path. Let's talk about the book. So I think the title is really grabbing, very catching, All the Things We Never Knew. This is a fiction story, but perhaps based on someone's life. <laughs> well, I have to throw a little bit of myself in all of my books, yeah. <laughs> but it's definitely fiction. Who you see on the character, that's Carly and Rex. Um, and they are two Houston area high school basketball players. And it follows their love story. And it's written in dual POV. So it's written and it follows both perspectives. So you really get to know each of them deeply and you really get to see both sides of their love and that's why it's called all the things we never knew because the reader gets to see all the things but as the love unfolds both of them don't see all the things so there's a lot of cute fusion and you know warning drama lots of drama <laughs> <laughs> um but there's also tenderness and sweetness and there's also a lot of growth that takes place over the course of their their love individual growth personal growth so it's not just a story that's about romantic love but it's about familial love the love of the world the love that you share with your friends and then i think most important self-love absolutely and you know you have received praise for writing books portraying the human sides the human lives of joys of black people and people of color and, and I'm gonna add to that, really filling a void in the literacy world. Um, and you have a daughter. So obviously you saw the void, you see the niche in your popularity of these books. How does that make you feel? Oh my gosh, I feel so grateful. You know, I absolutely love writing stories about black teens who are just trying to figure themselves out. I love writing about their everydayness. I love writing, you know, about them falling in love or on a path that they don't want to be on a path, you know, on the path because they're expected to be on the path. You know, I love writing about their big questions. Uh, you know, I love writing about their dreams. I love writing about black teens and all their everydayness. And of course, we all know there is racism and there are things that black teens have to face. But I also want to recognize all the other things that they live through each day. Well, Liara Tamani, thank you so much for your time. Congrats on the book, and thanks for circling back to uh, reclaim your passion writing. Thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure. Of course. And All the Things We Never Knew is available at bookshops. If you would like to connect with Liara, we do have a link on our website, HoustonLife.tv. Another bright light shining in Houston. After the break, we're going to check back in with Lauren Kelly, who's getting a lesson from skateboarding pro Jordan Santana. Houston Life will be right back.